Hey there, I'm Sean Collins, and I'm the eSports reporter with the Dallas Morning News, and I cover Optic Texas of the Call of Duty League. Uh, and I'm bringing my uh, my power rankings for the uh, third final week of Stage 2 in the Call of Duty League. Um, there have actually been a decent amount of changes uh, to my standings this time. Um, nothing really at the top or bottom that are like crazy, but there's a lot of shuffle in the middle, which I think is going to continue to happen. Um, in the S tier, I still think Optic and FaZe are the only teams that I feel comfortable putting there, and I'm still going to have Optic there. They haven't lost in literally 10 matches, so, um, I still think that they're the best team in the game. Their fundamentals uh, are the best, and they've been quite clutch, um, though I don't think FaZe is far behind. They might be, uh, neck and neck, to be honest. Um, I think the only team that belongs in the A tier for me right now are the London Royal Ravens. Um, they didn't look absolutely incredible against FaZe, uh, but I do think that they're still pretty good. Um, until the Ultra can get better at hard point, I think that they've got to be at the very top of the B tier, though I think that they they belong in the A tier, but right now they're they're a B tier team until they can figure out hard point, then they can kind of sneak back up in there. Um, if they had beaten FaZe, maybe I'd probably keep them in A tier, um, but but those hard points are hurting them big time. Um, I'm actually going to have the Boston Breach move up quite a bit as well. Um, they, they got a good win against Toronto this week, and I thought that they looked pretty decent. I think that the Thieves have fallen off a little bit, so I'm going to I'm gonna punish them a little bit by having them in this, you know, kind of mid to lower B tier area. Uh, and I'm actually going to move up the Rocker a little bit. I thought that they looked pretty clutch, uh, though I think that they're extremely inconsistent, and they could move back down to that C tier um, if they if they keep showing signs of inconsistency, but, but when they're good, they're really good. Um, in that C tier, I think the Florida Mutineers they had they had a two win weekend a little bit ago, but I just think that they play a little bit too fast, and I'm not sure they play Vanguard the right way compared to some of the top teams. Um, while they force a lot of teams to make mistakes, I think they make a decent amount of mistakes of their own, um, and I think that the Gorillas are kind of just like right there with them. Um, the Seattle Surge probably falling off. The, the most. I just don't think that they have it all going right now. Um, I, they, they're, they're making mistakes. They're playing a little bit too fast, kind of like Florida is, and, uh, and I think that they're showing significant growing pains. They were kind of ahead of everybody at the start, but they're not, uh, they're, they're not continuing to evolve or, uh, or, or innovate with their gameplay. Um, in the D tier, I do have the sub subliners passing up, uh, the Legion, um, they made two big roster moves, uh, most notably with Clayster being dropped out of the lineup and Paul X joining up. Um, they, they, they did look pretty good uh, against against the Legion. Um, it doesn't really say too much. We really need to see how they play against some other teams, but I do have uh, that being my order right now.